I'm pretty sure that's a real video. So she seen. just sued a YouTuber for lying on her about the Tory shooting. So you sure she just sued somebody yesterday for lying on her? So are you sure she came out with this video? Yeah, or no, they so the thing is about Malagro, she don't do nothing but quote what Malagro said. All. I have a feeling that Malagro is going to do a counter suit. Nigga, kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his life. Time to go to work. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm just trying to beat the odds. And you can help me. You. Why wouldn't you want to help me? So. What's on the plate today? We got Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion. Y'all know who she is. She just was twerking for Kamala. Trying to get them votes in. And uh, that's the girl that got Tory Lanez locked up. She's a liar. So, y'all know she went on Gail King and Gail asked her a question like, you be sleeping with Tory Lanez or Tory Lanez then mm, mm, pulled up and wrecked your fender? And she said no. She said they, 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 he ain't hit. In fact, that was a lie. Because she come out and she said that Tory Lanez hit it more than once. Talking about a drunken night uh, uh, once or just a drunken night. So saying he probably only hit twice. In fact, that was a lie. Listen, we know that, in fact, she liked Tory Lanez. They was kicking it. She had a friend and she was kicking it with him too. The little Lucky Charm nigga is locked up. For allegedly shooting her in the foot. I say allegedly because that's not even really true. That's just what they were saying. They alleged that he shot her in the foot. But in fact, he didn't. If she lied about sleeping with the guy, she definitely lied about him shooting her in the foot. The little lucky charm nigga is locked up because she lied. But it seemed like it get a little deeper than that. A little rock nation business. Jay-Z business. You get what I'm saying? So it's more than meets the eye, but she do play a major part in this. When this happened, this was a couple years ago. They was going to court. Um, it, for a second, it looked like Tory was going to get off, but he didn't. So just imagine a female lying on you and you go to jail. That stop is money. He owe people your time with your family. People could die while you in jail. Your kids. I don't really know if Tory got kids. I think he I think he do though. Um Yeah, this 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 sad. And then when it come to Megan Thee Stallion, when it come to women in general, the way the world is is believe all women. But I don't understand why, because y'all always get caught up in lies. That's like the Diddy situation. You got Diddy. This whole situation is a believe all women. If it's true or it's not, the best thing to do with women when you get caught up, if you don't have your receipts in order, like video to prove it, you might as well just plead out. Uh, Megan... And her friend, I, I'm ashamed. Real talk. One, because what we going to do? You got Megan Thee Stallion. She went on, uh, she, she went on the record. I just watched the video and she said she lied. So... Man, it's it's time for us to smarten up. You get around these women, you got money. They got to sign them papers like an a, a, a NDA or something, because they definitely on the on the on the tear a nigga down um motion right now. They jumping on that motion right now, tear a nigga down. Tory Lanez is sitting in jail right now, knowing that he was lied on. So just imagine sitting there. Losing all this time, money, 
family and you didn't do it. So just imagine the people who think he did it. That messed your name up. Your credibility with certain things moving forward. You don't want that on your jacket that you shot at a female? Women and kids we don't touch. You understand that? So for that to be on his jacket like he was having a wild night. He got mad because Megan and the girl and Megan was mad at him because he slept with the girl and he bow wow hit Megan in the foot. Had her. Oh man, listen. That's a bad representation of a nigga like Tory Lanez. Okay. And I'm not even a Tory Lane fan. But enough is enough. And, and, and quite frankly, like, all the way to the core of it, it really was a, a rock nation business move and maybe had her moving and saying what she was saying. If that wasn't part of the play to get him under the thumb of whatever that organization want him to do, or not do. Because when it comes to the industry, it's it's more than meets the eye. People fear what they don't understand. And we don't understand this industry. What we see, okay, we see that. But it's more to it. And it's all pretty much just it's for us to sit back. And it's going to play out like a movie. And one thing that a liar is going to do, they're going to lie first and they're going to come out at some point and tell the truth, which is going to show that they've been lying for the longest. So y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. This Megan Thee Stallion thing is, is, is wild. It's messed up. Tory Lanez got to Sit the fourth quarter out. Because this. This unstable creature. Felt like she wanted to lie on him. And stand on it though. And then go on. Gail King. And lie to her face. Y'all leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all share this. I'll be back with another one.